As this quarterback here gets sacked and hit by the A-gap within a couple of yards, we have another look where we get another A-gap pressure since the center has to choose between these two guys. But these guys will match, as you can see right here. He just basically runs the route, eventually making the play as he probably could have got an interception. See how I pull that center, he's blocking nobody as both defensive ends come around the edge for free sacks. <laughs> If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the number one defense in College Football 25 out of the Nickel 3-3 Double Mug. This is a pro favorite. I already put out a gameplay video about this before the game even came out, uh, but that I didn't really get to break down the entire defense too well. So I want to do a repeat video in uh, practice mode because I can really get into more setups, as there really are a lot of different things you can do with this defense. Now, the pro player defense that they're using is the Mid Blitz Zero. This is a very popular defense going back a very long time. I, I put out Mid Blitz zero uh, several years ago I thought it would be pretty big and a lot of people go to this year so I made my own scheme out of it where I like to use zone coverages more often I typically like to use cover three match because I find that cover zero is probably the worst uh, coverage defense style in the game and I find the cover three match is one of the best so I'm gonna show you guys the blitz setup that I created uh, about two weeks ago and I'm gonna show you a, a setup I'm gonna show you a lot of different setups but the setup that I'm gonna show you can be done at a cover three match cover three sky Tampa 2, it really doesn't matter. You can use cover 2 hard flat. Any defense in this formation that looks like this, you can run the blitz that I'm gonna show you guys today and you get a lot of A-gap pressure and stuff like that. Now, the playbook that I'm using is the 326. Out of my 326 ebook, if you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply click the links in the description or the top pin comment, which is very unique when it comes to 3-3 double mug. It has a very unique uh, setup that you can't do in necessarily every 3-3 double mug. But I'm gonna start off with the cover three match and I'm gonna flip the play in the huddle, which is very important and I'll show you guys why. So let's go and let's flip the play in the huddle. On offense, we're just gonna pick a random medium pass. But before I do, if you guys are liking the video and wanna see more defensive plays, please make sure to be a subscriber, like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now the setup for this play is really simple, but like I said, in the gameplay video that I put out two weeks ago, I forgot to mention that you want to blitz all linebackers. The blitz all linebackers is just D-pad to the right and down the right stick, and you'll have a look that looks just like the mid blitz zero. The only thing that you have to do after this is spread the defensive line, which is D-pad to left and up, and then rotate this defensive end inside. Now the reason that I say that not all 3-3 three, three double mugs are the same is because this guy here I can roam all over the field with, where a lot of 3-3 three, three double mugs, you can't move the defensive end like that. You you can see he's stuck he's got his hand down on the ground but this guy here can move wherever he wants to move which is something that's unique to this particular double mug a lot of double mugs have two defensive ends that can't move so this is a very good setup here uh, and the reason I have to flip it is because this left inside linebacker here has a chance to get him free as long as I flip around to this guy here to stand over the right tackle although a lot of times it's the right guard as we get a sack fumble on the very first look uh, before the quarterback could even drop back so that just gives you an idea of what type of tremendous a gap pressure you can get and you can see here you definitely don't want to run this under center as this quarterback here gets sacked and hit by the a gap within a couple of yards forcing a fumble because that's just how devastating this blitz is he's got another under center look here like i said under center this is definitely going to be devastating we're going to guess pass this time as you can see how quickly the setup gets uh, done but a lot of times the defensive ends can get off too which is why i guess pass as you can see he comes in right off the edge on the play action and if i didn't guess pass he would have been on the play action but since i guess pass he goes straight for the quarterback for another sack now this look here i'm glad i got this look because a lot of times you'll get a look like this where the spread receiver alignment typically if there's three receivers in a trip formation uh, where the tight end's not next to the line of scrimmage you'll get this look and this is the reason that a lot of pro players run mid blitz because they're automatically blitzing and they won't be spread out like this but if it's in a coverage look like they are they'll be spread out like this where they want to match the tight end there's nothing i can do to change this there's no uh there's no way to um, you know, base the line or anything like that in this game anymore. So I have two different options here. If I want to, I could bring this guy down over the center and this make this my user. I'll go ahead and I'll guess pass again. You're not going to get an A gap, but this will help to get the defensive ends off the edge. Uh, the the three seam or the uh, the seam flats there in cover three will match those slot receivers. I just got to make sure that I get back on the tight end after the play starts. I get stuck up a little bit, and you can see I don't know if I guess pass as the coverage was there. But we did get some pressure. And I, like I said, I don't think I guessed pass where I probably would have got the sack. As you can see right here, since I'm standing over the A-gap, a lot of times it'll help to get one of these edge guys off. As you can see, once again, this guy's coming off the edge free. But I don't know if he just got dipped by uh, Orgy 
or if he just, you know, if I just didn't get his pass and he just came with a slow angle. I really don't remember. But you can see I come back into my coverage lane uh, to cut off middle throws. I can cut off that tight end underneath. But I just wanted to show, too, like I said, one of the reasons I like cover three is because one of the biggest weaknesses of cover three is right up the seam here or just, you know, crossing routes and stuff like that because a lot of times, like, regular curl flats won't match. But these guys will match. As you can see right here, he just basically runs the route, which is why I like this defense so much, eventually making the plays. He probably could have got an interception. As you can see here, once again, we get that look. Now, this will give me an opportunity to show you the second blitz you can do against this, which is basically spreading the defensive line, although I didn't mean to do that. I meant to spread the linebackers. Spread the linebackers, which deep pad to the left and up. And now you can see how, number one, this guy's standing, which is something you could use uh, to your advantage, although I can't really walk around with him. But it'll bring these guys back and essentially what looks like a nickel over. Uh, from here, all you have to do is blitz both linebackers, and you'll see how they're both pointed right towards the A-gap. After that, just bring this guy in, and I have to drop back on that tight end once again, but a lot of times, I'll guess pass once again, a lot of times we can get some A-gap pressure from this look as well. So let's go ahead and let's do that. As you can see, he comes right down the pipe and buries Orgy. So you can see there's multiple ways to get pressure here. As we have another look where we get another A-gap pressure since the center has to choose between these two guys, and we get another sack as he's just buried instantly after the play action. So three different looks that you can do, and the best part about it is you can do all three of these looks, like I said, from any defense. You like Tampa 2, do it from Tampa 2. You like invert cover 2 hard flat, even though that's not very good, go ahead and do it from that. Do it from match, do it from sky. It's really up to you, which is the reason that I like this defense. And you could also do it from the mid blitz, which we'll go ahead and pick now, as I also said I would show you guys uh, the setup that all the pro players are doing. So let's go ahead and let's pick, continuously pick, uh, you know, regular middle pass here. Same setup. Like I said, I didn't flip the play though, which is the one you know downside there. But yeah, that's the same thing. You can flip the play, do the exact same thing. My man's under center. This was the original play that I actually found this blitz in, but, but this is going to work the exact same way. As you'll see, we'll either get an A gap, which we did right away there. Once again, understand you get a lot of A gaps. To me, the second best setup is just to take whoever's using the running back and then bring him down either over the guard so that you're right in front of him when he goes out on his route or over the center. I find over the center's best. This is an old setup that I put out a long time ago. I will guess pass every time from this look as this is all you really have to do. And a lot of times they'll get these edge guys off free. As you can see, boom, we get them coming both in from both sides there. And the reason this works best is because there's going to be five blocking guys and we have five guys in a tight box so they're going to have to take us first which means that it's going to allow both defensive ends off and then ultimately you see how i pull that center he's blocking nobody as both defensive ends come around the edge for free sacks as there's really just you know there's just more guys being sent than there are to block so that to me is probably all you really need to do if you're not very quick when it comes to a setup. But a lot of pro players also do stuff like pinching the defensive line, which actually spreads the linebackers, and then slanting inside to the point where you can see how they're all just coming in like this. And then sometimes they'll even put these outside guys into you know hard flats and stuff like that. But you can see we get an A-gap the same way. So it still is a very valuable setup as we get an A-gap and the edge pressure there. So there definitely is something to this. This works even better if you do it with uh, quick jump ability, but you can see how once again, we get that A-gap, he's coming right through, the guy's running for his life, and both edge guys are pretty much coming off, so this is definitely a nightmare blitz uh, for you know any offense, really. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there, though. If you guys wanna see the actual gameplay that I put out using the first setup that I showed you guys, I'll have that popping up on screen, so just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.